and my interview style had not developed by okay. that time. Okay. I was out of a job. Uh, I mean, I was making some, but not very much of a living. And Channel 5, an independent station in New York, owned by the Dumont people, wanted to start a news division. They didn't really have a news division. And so they came to me, knowing of my background, and there was a fellow by the name of Ted Yates, who had done news over at Channel 4, which was the NBC station. Ted Cott, who had run Channel 4, was now running Channel 5. And he put Yates and Wallace together to do a 7 and 11 o'clock newscast across the board. And um, it, was, it was pretty good from the get-go because uh, the producer, Yates, had a, had a notion about what he wanted to do about news, which was somewhat different. And that's the first time that I really, in uh, news, began to get out on the street and, and report. This is the first time, uh, that is, as far as television was concerned, and began to report. And we did quite well. And we were sponsored, as I remember, by the Bond Clothing Company. The, and that's at a time when, when the, uh, that's at a time when the uh, newscaster was permitted to do commercials. It was like, you know, they, they hadn't separated state from church at that time. So the commercial, I would do the commercials for Bond Clothes and suggest to them that when they went to the Bond Clothes store, they should tell them Mike sent you. Fifteen minutes was the norm for the length of television newscasts at that time. <coughs> Eventually, uh, Ted and I, and Ted Cott, but Ted Yates and I decided, let's, let's try and see if we can't do a, an interview show at 11 o'clock. We'll start it with news and do maybe five minutes, eight minutes of news, and then do over the next 45 minutes or 50 minutes, do uh, two interviews, two one-on-one -on -one interviews. And we came up with the name Nightbeat. And Nightbeat struck a nerve in New York. Um, the way that things occasionally do, uh, whether it's a play or a, or a uh, ballet or a movie or whatever, Nightbeat became an overnight big hit uh, in New York. And the style that mainly Yates developed but I was uh, a co-conspirator, I knew how to do it, the, the, uh, we began to do research that had not been done on, on radio and or television interviews before. We began to confront people with anomalies from their past and what they're doing now. We became uh, occasionally abrasive, frequently irreverent, sometimes confrontational, and it, it really did strike a nerve in Manhattan. I mean, the, there was the old business of the cab drivers that go get a mic and that, that kind of thing. And, it was, and we were dinner conversation. And everybody, when I say everybody, everybody uh, in sports, in, in theater, in movies when they came to town, in politics, everybody wanted to be on Nightbeat. Ted Yates was a cowboy who never finished college. Big cowboy type. Uh, Good looking, and, and he had worked with Tex McCrary. Tex McCrary, Tex and Jinx were a husband and wife team that preceded Mike and Buff uh, in New York. And Tex McCrary was a former newspaper man, had a newspaper column still. Uh, he was, a, they had a radio show together. And Tex took young people and taught them who were, who wanted very much to get into journalism. Bill Sapphire was one of his people, Bill Adler. Um, so Ted had a notion about getting rid of the pablum of most interview shows at that time. Let's really do some research, really think about tough questions, make people squirm a little bit, uh, ask the questions that the audience would like you to ask. And that's exactly what happened. We put together a team of three or four of us 
and everybody just had a good time. It was a band of brothers and sisters who, uh, who did immense research, and, tr it, and it was a, uh, this was really something new. This was something new uh, in television. It was, I guess, to some degree, it was almost, almost journalism, but not quite.